Knives out, a glass onion. This has nothing to do with the part one, it's a whole different mystery. This is simple. A billionaire fixes his death as a game and invites his friend that, like, yeah, come and solve my death. It's a game, you know, something to do on the weekend because I'm too rich, I don't want to do my life, so solve my death. So the friends do come. Take note, the friends have motives to kill him. All the friends have motives to kill him. And as they do arrive, they arrive with the world's greatest detective, detective. Black, 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 B -O black. Yeah, they arrived with him. Something you think will happen, did happen. The fake death led to a road death and the detective was stuck in a room with people with room was exactly do harm and he had to unsolve it unravel it. And that is the story. That is the story. I know. I always simplify the story a little bit too much, but I'm just start by saying things worth mentioning the story. One, I have a cross of Janelle Monaco. I can't pronounce your name for nothing, but if you are married, it's a lucky man. If you're not, hey. What's up? Let's hit the man up, you know. Let's have a conversation, some dinner, yeah. Five Star Reserve Hotel, Kempinski. Is that five star? Another thing that I must say, this movie was a bit of an overachiever. If you don't know what that means, it basically means the movie tried to do too much. It was trying to achieve too much in a span of 12 or 20 minutes. It's a good thing because it makes the writing way better than the part one. It's a way better writing than the part one. But at the same time, it's a bad thing because the part one still stands strong as the best knives out. Good things about it that I liked. The only thing that I felt like is worth mentioning, the writing, the story, the plot twists, the ups and downs. The mystery was about the billionaire and his fake game. When they arrive, in less than 30 minutes of the movie, the detective has solved it. What do you do then? Everybody was thinking, okay, you know, it's quite cliche, the road there to happen, but no. In the span of this means, he has solved it and I already warned the millionaire that, look, it's quite obvious people here want to kill you. Why are you still doing this? In that process, new mystery unsolved, somebody else is dead. In the process where somebody else is dead, a new mystery unsolved, the person who is dead is actually related to a death that was way, way back that they're actually trying to solve in the current mystery. Their story is so complex. It's so written. It's so... It's such an art. It's so beautiful to watch the writing in, in play. I was watching the movie and I enjoyed it. Film is supposed to be an art, it's supposed to be theatre. It's supposed to go there and go like, whoa, what, what? This was it. The writing was this. The writing overachieved for a better story and they smashed it there. The plot, the twist, the turn, trusting fought and straight to the pelvic of our minds, birthing a whole new experience. That right there, is top notch. Our tone writing cannot even come close to this. This is well written, well plotted. Well thought out. If you see something happening and you're like, wait, what? what? Take notice of it. It's gonna play a role. They also like to make some fake, you know, signs. Like they'll make some people bump into themselves and you be like, okay, okay, I peeped that. Nah, nah, just them messing with you. But overall, this is the better writing. This is the top notch writing. It defeats every bit of the part one in writing. What nails it more is the acting and the directing of it. It makes the writing and the story even more, it makes you get more immersed in it. It's like watching theater in Wex. And it's so, so, what's the word? It was so beautiful. I was enjoying the complexity of it. The mystery, then the next mystery review, then the plot twist, then another mystery. Then I'm like, wait, what is even going on here? Then bam, a mystery again. It's like, who wrote this? Who wrote this? Their story or the writing is so well done that it puts everything on such high stakes. Like that's it lifts the standards. Like yo, this movie, this movie, what what's going to happen? What's going to happen? The writing, the part two, is so much better than the part one. That to me, it came across like they were an overachiever. They aimed a little bit too high because what next? Mystery, 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 mystery plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. Like bruh, chill, relax. You know that deep. Now to the bad thing. You're an overachiever. Due to them being an overachiever, we got a very anticlimactic end. You see, the whole point of a murder mystery is the review. The review is why we watch it. We watch it because the review is satisfying, because it is mind blowing. It's something you expect, it's something you figured out, it's something that just makes your brain feel like, yo, this is it. This is why I clicked this movie. This is it. I didn't get it from this. They did so many twists, plot, twists, 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 plot, 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 just for us to find out that the detective can only reveal the truth and cannot do anything more than reveal the truth. And when he revealed the truth, he could not do anything more. <laughs> the truth was in the air and 
It affected nothing to the story. The killer was still striving. That's why I say it's over achieving. They tried, they wondered what can we do that'll be so different? What can we do that'll be so different? But just so much to the point that when they probably thought, you know what, they revealed the mystery, nothing happens. It's probably a good idea. Probably right. And when they did it in real life, it was like, bro, what was all the what's the whole point of you trusting Ford into a mind and betting and holding experience just for us to see that uh, yeah, um, F you, it means nothing. To me, that was that was a miss. And the worst of it is how they ended it. The ending was so basic that I felt like it wasn't the same writer who came up with this idea. It wasn't the same writer who, who was trying to create a very big complex work of art. It wasn't the same writer who came up with this, this conclusion. Because why would you make your audience feel like this is beyond what they ever expected just to drop it down? pure glass on the floor shattered into pieces straight out disappointment why what's the point of that then it was so it was so hollywood it was so every big movie i've seen it was so bright it was like why i didn't need this i needed a big review might be cliche but the big review happens then something flew up to the review that from this point from the direction the story was given something flew up to the review that will even be more revealing or more devastating not something that everybody's going like It was extremely anticlimactic for me. So what do I rate this? I give this movie a 7.6. 7 to me is good. If I tell you a movie is a 7, it's good, it's worth your time. Yes, this movie is worth your time. The writing is too good. The right the plot, 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 mission, mission, mystery is too good. I love that. It was top. 7.6, extremely anticlimactic. I don't know why they did that. And that's it. Two fine boys, I'm Sir King. We'll catch you guys in the next video. Oh, don't forget to like. Subscribe and do comment. So we really be reading reading the comments. We're on 130, we're on, we're on 183 subscribers. I'm trying to reach 200 subscribers before Christmas. Please do subscribe. It really will mean so much for us. Thank you again for watching. We'll see you in the next one.